And Sunday night, we'll all be watching the 82nd Annual Academy Awards, the Oscars. But big awards can mean big bucks at the box office and from all of the other distribution channels, from DVDs to downloads. So which studios stand to gain the most if Oscar smiles upon them? Joining us now is Matthew Harrigan of Wanderlick Securities. He is Senior Vice President of Equity Research. Matt, great to have you on the show today. So which studio stands to gain the most here in your view? Well, you know, a good number of the larger studios are, are really embedded in these larger conglomerates. So it's it's wonderful that Avatar has done you know, the great numbers it's done commercially on, on a global basis. But incrementally, it's, it's certainly a nice pop, you know, for News Corp and, and for Jim Cameron. But I think on a relative basis, I mean, the real prospective winners would be, say, you know, a Lionsgate with Precious, with Monique, I, I think, you know, very likely to get best uh, you know, supporting uh, actress, you know, there. And I think, you know, really just the overall perception of the, of the movie business and its vitality and its importance to the average American, I think, picks up. I mean, even a, you know, a regal entertainment, which is an exhibitor rather than a distributor, could get some benefit. But, you know, certainly some of these companies, a, a News Corp or a Time Warner, I mean, it, it, it's great if they fare well in the competition, but uh, it, it probably isn't enough of an impetus in and of itself to run out and buy a, buy a stock for a particular, you know, short-term move. What do we know from your... One, one of the, Go on, continue, Matt. I, I should probably add... The, the, the biggest prospective winner would actually be uh, Summit Entertainment if uh, the Hurt Locker gets uh, you know, Best Picture or, or Catherine Bigelow becomes the first woman to win Best Director. But of course, that's a private company. Now that movie's only done about 14 million at the box office, you know, versus uh, you know over two and a half billion for Titanic on a global basis. But unfortunately, there's there's no direct public play on on, on Summit. What I was going to ask you, Matt, is what do we know from years past in, in terms of how much an Academy Award and Oscar win actually translates into dollars and cents, whether, you know, it's for the studio? Well, I think the, the impact is, is typically, uh, you know, most pronounced where you get a movie that's a, a bit outside the mainstream that, you know, people see it on the Oscar night and, and, and then they decide that they want to go to the movie or, or buy the DVD. I mean, Slumdog, you know, Millionaire would really be you know, apropos as far as that goes uh, uh, last year. I mean, that had a, had a decent impact. I, I would imagine it probably, uh, you know, improved the gross economics of the, of the movie if you include, you know, box office internationally and, and DVD and, and digital distribution on online and all that. I, I would imagine it probably popped the value of the ultimates in that movie by about 35 or 40 percent. So a win by, say, Up, produced by Disney, Avatar, News Corp, 20th Century Fox, as you said, just a blip on the radar, really. So really, the, the, the dollars and cents where it really could matter big is Hurt Locker, the independent film, even Precious, which is Lionsgate, correct? Uh, on a relative basis, you know, that, that, that's correct. I mean, Fox is probably going to make north of half a billion dollars on the Avatar, even though they're, they're just distributing it. But, uh, you know, on an incremental basis, where you look at it on a percentage, uh, you know, Delta, you know, the, the real increment would be, you know, for Lionsgate, you know, let, let's say, or if Summit was a, was a public company. You know, certainly if a, a, for a movie that did 14 million at the box office, only 14 million, if it suddenly becomes very visible at the Oscars, I mean, that really has a disproportionate, you know, benefit. How are the studios and distributors, how important do they, or how closely do they look at the Oscars for determining budgets for future films? I think it's important. I think it's important, you know, to engage the talent, you know, this way. But it, it really is sort of, a, a, I think, a parallel, you know, path when you look at the commercial aspects of, of, of the movies. I mean, when you look at, at an Avatar, I mean, there were people who thought it was a great movie. I mean, there were people who thought that it wasn't as good a movie as District 9, uh, which came out you know, from Sony, which was also a, a sci-fi, uh, you know, movie that had, a, a, I think, a real nice, you know, twist to it. Uh, but uh, no, I think the, the movies largely are, are even more, the studios largely are even more blockbuster oriented and more commercial oriented than, than they were. And I think that the, the critical success of the movie is, is, is a bit of a different path. But it's certainly something that ties into the talent relationships. And for the smaller films, it, it's certainly important. But, I mean, 20th Century Fox, I mean, everybody has to be thrilled with uh, Avatar and what it's done, you know, for 3D and, and, and digital movies and, and effects and, and showing the vitality of the movie industry, you know, regardless of how it does it with, with the Academy. All right. We'll be in our fuzzy slippers, eating popcorn, watching anxiously Sunday <laughs> night's Oscar. Matthew Harrigan of Wonderlick Securities. Thanks a lot.